Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer uh, laptop. This one is an Acer V3-371 series. Um, but the exact model for this one you can find on the bottom sticker of the laptop. It says model MS2392. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade your mechanical hard drive to an SSD hard drive. And that will boost up the performance by big margin. So because the mechanical drive are a little slow comparing to a solid state drive. And also remember as soon as you do your upgrade of the solid state drive, as soon as you turn it on, you're not going to have any operating system installed. And because the Windows is in your old drive. I made a video on how to create your USB Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave those links in my video description. You can check that how to create your own Windows 10 free of charge of anything you don't have to even pay for it you can create your windows 10 usb boot drive so you can install it on the new hard drive it will take about five to ten minutes to install it and you're ready to go i made another video how to install it how to install windows 10 properly on acer laptop and in this video at the end of the video i'm going to show you guys how to just boot it up from here uh, but the rest of the installation process you can watch any of my videos on installing and I'll show you the trick on how to install it the proper way. All right, that said, now let's get into this uh, exchanging of the hard drives. First thing you need is a hard drive. I recommend you guys to grab any Crucial brand or Samsung brand. Do not go with any, any Adata or Adata brand or Kingston brand. They don't last you a long time. But this client brought me hers and she said she wants to install this one because it's cheap. I guess that's the reason. You need a screwdriver set. Uh, I recommend you guys get up the iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. These bits are made out of S2 classic steel. These are really suitable to, and really durable. They will last you a very long time. You need an opening tool. Grab the Pro set, which will include your opening tool, or you can buy yourself a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, are really suitable to opening electronics, covers, or screen. Now, you need to power off the laptop completely, back up your files on an external hard drive or somewhere. And then you wanna, on the bottom cover, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. So start from one corner and remove them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realize there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you guys want to support the channel, and if you like my content and helping you guys out, eh, please click that like button and think about subscribing. It really greatly helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions, and help you guys out pretty much. Once you remove all the screws, all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit, grab the guitar pick, stick it between the top and the bottom cover and just twist it towards the screen, just like this. Do go to the sides, do the same thing on the left and right side. So let me see if you guys can see it. Stick it right there and just pop it open. You should hear some clicking. Once you did the front and the sides, just lift it up and wiggle it around and it should come pretty loose. And down here, you're gonna see a big humongous battery. And you can see the mechanical hard drive, which is a Western Digital, a Western Digital Blue. This hard drive is being held down by a caddy. The caddy is being held down by a screw right there. And that's it, there's only one screw right there, I see. I don't see, remove this one, but this one is being held down by a screw with the cover, so put this to one side. And I don't see any other screw on this side. So pretty much is hooking up right in there. So all you need to do is remove this screw right there. You do not need to remove the battery, absolutely it's not necessary to remove the battery, but if you want to be paranoid, go ahead, grab this jack and pull it back. And that's it. Just leave it there. 
Now once you remove the screw for the caddy, just pick it up. Uh, be careful, there's a ribbon cable right there. Just don't yank on it. Just loose it up, lift it up a little bit. Now you want to put your finger right on this adapter and separate the adapter from the hard drive, just like that, and bring it up. Uh, this is kind of dirty. This is our slim hard drives. So, but any SSDs are a slim profile. So, now we need to remove this caddy. It's been held down by two screws. The position of the caddy and the hard drive. And be very careful with those has to be in the same orientation of this one so if you grab the new hard drive you put it the other way around it's not going to match the connectors right here so make sure it is in the same orientation so disconnect it from here put it to one side grab the old hard drive put it down grab this one Just screw it right there. Once you have the hard drive in there ready to go, grab the connector, just push it down to the jack right there. And now all you need to do is to align it by align the screw hole right there. Put this one right on top. And put the only screw that at the back that holds the caddy in place just tighten up the rest of the screws all right once you have that one in place all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover bring it over again connect the battery if you disconnected it just plug it in just slide it right in there Grab the power, bring it over, set it down flat, and then and then you what you need to do is just push the corners down. You want to hear those clicks. Press down, and you can pinch the top and the bottom cover to make sure it locks down in place. And the last thing would be to just put down the screws right on the cover. And I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to upgrade your mechanical drive to an SSD drive for your Acer V3 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them all as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And again, the link for installation of Windows for this model is in my video description. Check it out if you need to know how to install it properly.